Results for Support and Life Company. Yeah! Awesome. Thank you very much to do so. We've got an amazing lineup. Just a couple of things before we get started. Uh, we do ask that you keep table talk to a minimum. Also, also no heckling the comedians or you will be asked to leave. With that out of the way, are you guys ready to get the show started? took my damn shirt off one time, somebody tried to call the FBI on me, it was that damn bad. Thought I was a damn terrorist, right? Man, well, so how you guys feeling tonight, man? Oh man, we got a great show tonight, right? A uh, lot of funny comics. Uh, I don't really want to tell any jokes, I, I got some stuff I want to get off my chest, right? I've been through a lot of trauma in my life, okay? You understand me, buddy? You like a psychiatrist. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna just talk to you directly, okay? Let me just tell you a little bit about my life. You guys are laughing, please. This is a serious moment for me, okay? Sir, I'm gonna start this off. I'm gonna cut through the chase, okay? I dated a cockeyed bitch, okay? Now, let me explain a little bit, okay? Like I said, I like exotic women, like yourself. I'm gonna call you sweet ass. You mind if I do that? Hey, you blushing, I'm blushing. We're blushing together like two beautiful flowers, but that's beyond the point. Now, sir, okay, right? I don't have that much long, so I need you to help me here, okay? Because this trauma has been following me for a mighty long time now. Ma'am, please stop laughing, you're making me embarrassed, okay? Now this cockeyed bitch, man, right? She, could, she had an eye that could do a stop, drop, and roll like no other. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, man? Right, like one time, Oh God, I'm about to cry. How you guys doing? Wow, I'm gonna get back to you. Ooh, there's some beautiful women too. How you, how you ladies doing? You look healthy, what you eating on? What the hell is wrong with this mic? Wait a minute. Hello, okay. What you eating on? Oh, pretzels. Ma'am, me and you pretzel. Right, so anyway, sir, I'm sorry, I get on topic a lot. Uh, it's a damn beer. I'm trying to drink some water and shit, trying to clear my mind. Uh, ain't nothing like some H2O. Anyways, man, uh, who else ain't going to cockeye bitch, right? There we go. So, man, one night, I damn near shit on myself, right? Because when I woke up, man, that damn eye was spinning like a hamster wheel, okay? Now, what I'm trying to, can you help me get a woman in my life, man? This bug is flying around your head, what the hell? If I had some bugs where I spray your head and shit, right? I'm just fucking with you, man. So you, you guys ready to have a good show tonight? Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't really do this hosting thing, man. It's a comfortable ass chair. Apparently, I hope it ain't got no bed bugs though. Yeah. Anyways, where was I going? Uh, have you guys been uh, seeing this thing about this damn foldable chair shit, man? Have you guys seen that? Bye. Clap your hands, cause you guys. How many people seen that? Does that shit really work? That, like, has anybody tried it yet? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't fight worth shit, and I'm just trying to figure out, man. Like, cause it, 
I got a fetish for BBWs. Are you getting hot, ma'am? It's me. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Kevin, I want to thank you, buddy. I need to do this shit more often. Is, the, is that your man right there? Is that, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Look, I, it ain't me. <laughs> but I am working on becoming a sex symbol. Right? It must be the floaty titties you like, huh? Hey, girl, I'm just trying to float. I ain't trying to float into your life, but I'm trying to float into your life, though. Can you say your name again? Ooh, damn, that shit is made. Mm -mm -mm. Man. Oh, golly. I'm sorry, guys. I've been looking at her ever since she came in. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, so does the chair shit work? Anybody uh, ever try to use it yet? I know it's like a week. Yeah, I'm thinking about using it, man, because this damn big bitch beat my ass one time. I ain't lying to you, man. She was a, she's what I like to call a GMW, a gigantic mammoth woman. All right, now, if you guys can't picture that, picture a hippopotamus and an elephant combined into one. That's the type of shit I was dealing with, right? And I like to role play, so I was in like a little entanglement with her, man. So I took her back to my house one time, right? And I had her lay on the floor. I watched a lot of Animal Planet. Do you guys remember the show uh, Crocodile Hunter? Y'all yeah. remember that, the Australian guy? Right, so I took her back to my house, man, and I had her lay on the floor. And I said, look, you're gonna play the role of a uh, Alaskan bison, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna play an Australian hunter. So I got behind, we was, well, she couldn't fit on the bed. I had, I got a queen size bed, but this is a big bitch that I'm trying to tell you, right? Excuse my language. So I, I got behind the, got behind the furniture, right? And I was, <laughs> don't laugh, I'm trying to stay here. I was like, oh man, look at that beauty, mate. That's a big ass beast, mate. I'm gonna go for it. And I started creeping up, right? And I said, wait for it, wait for it. And I pounced on this big bitch back, man. She jumped up. I, my ass flew across the damn room, hit my fucking head on the table. If you was looking through my window that night, man, you would have thought I had a damn bouncy house in my place. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. But guys, give it up, man, for your comics tonight. That's been my time. All right. We got some great ones for you, man. You guys are in for a special treat tonight. So I'm gonna bring up this very funny guy. He's from Cincinnati. His name is Christian Grant. Give it up for him. All the time, Greenville's Earl, everybody. Yeah, you know, you're, uh, he didn't need to go into that therapy stuff. We could tell just by looking at him. Right? A 